Barker. No more games. <laughs> but we're having so much fun. Let her go. Enough people have died. We are talking about the movie Demon Hunter, directed by Zoe Cavana and stars Nima Hogan. Uh, Zoe Cavana also co-wrote this with Tony Flynn. So let's discuss what Demon Hunter is all about then. 2016, low budget, indie, horror action movie uh, from Ireland. It, it focuses on this kind of female demon hunter called Taryn who, uh, as we see in a variety of flashbacks, is kind of, uh, feels responsible for the death of her sister and essentially makes kind of a deal with some dark forces to have supernatural powers and now kind of essentially fights the forces of evil and has become some kind of like uh, Matrix-like goth kick-ass babe. And basically in this movie she kind of, uh, you know, is, uh, has, a, has a case, she's arrested by the police uh, she's obviously trying to warn them of the kind of the impending dangers that are uh, attacking and they don't believe her of course so you have a terminator like kind of scene where the kind of is uh thing attacks the police station and just kind of team up this one guy who may you know who's got his own stuff going on sounds pretty cool and it's got a bit of a kick-ass cover doesn't it so why do i sound a little bit apprehensive let's talk about any positives first of all this film I'd say the film is fairly well paced. It certainly uh, keeps going. There's a variety of different action set pieces. So there's not. it doesn't ever lull, I will say that. Um, you know, it goes at a, a, you know, a good pace. You, I don't think it's necessarily a boring film. Lots of stuff happening on screen. Uh, lots of kind of uh, quite imaginative prosthetic effects. They're okay uh, for a low-budget film. I think they're, you know, they're not too bad. I've seen worse. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a positive because there are it look, clearly looks like makeup but nonetheless it's not a bad effort um and i've got to say I, I will say it's fairly ambitious it's not maybe original but it is ambitious so let's talk about the negatives this to me feels like the writers have watched or read constantine and then thought ah that would be cool but with a female it just feels like a kind of a female version of john constantine who is a comic book character first and foremost but was made into a movie with uh, Keanu Reeves and a later a series uh, and it really just feels like it's kind of ripping off that if I'm completely honest but also elements of like Buffy and stuff and like I've said Terminator in one scene as well so I don't think it's particularly original first of all uh, technically it had some issues the audio mixing is terrible in this in this film the there's quite a few scenes where the dialogue is just drowned out by the kind of the the score you just can't hear what people are saying uh so that was kind of annoying uh I, so the audio I, I don't know if it's this they haven't picked the voices very well or the audio music set is too high things like that. but the audio isn't great and I feel the cut of the movie isn't particularly good. It has these flashback scenes, and quite a lot of them. But the problem is it doesn't always make it clear when you're watching a flashback scene and when you are watching a kind of present-day scene. Um, and it just, as a viewer, I mean, I'm sure the filmmakers, it makes sense, but as a viewer, when you're watching it, you kind of, you don't realise you're watching necessarily a flashback all the time. So it comes across as a little disjointed, which would have been much better if it was just told in a linear fashion, basically. Um... And obviously it's doing that because it wants to reveal stuff as the story goes on but they should have made a point of difference with the flashbacks not had so many or told it in, in, in a linear fashion um the acting is not very good uh coupled with terrible dialogue and i've got to say the wardrobe and the color of costuming to me this movie feels like it wants to be in 1999 this is what it thinks that is cool in nine you know what people thought was cool in 1999 not in 2017 i also feel it's quite miscast um no offense to the kind of the lead actress here naima hogan uh I, I would have gone with someone maybe who who came across as a bit more physically fit <laughs> The dialogue is atrocious. Some really hammy on the nose dialogue, coupled with very, very subpar acting and characters that quite frankly seem like comic book caricatures. 
horrible horrible uh acting in places in this movie as well and i've got to say it's just the the story comes across as both unoriginal and although it's kind of fast paced it just seems so trite it doesn't make it a particularly interesting movie to watch like i said it is ambitious clearly it's a low budget film and i kind of have to give you know film some kind of leeway when it comes to kind of obviously things they can't simply can't afford to do but the writing you know I feel is first and foremost the issue here um and it just comes across as quite a just a throwaway cheap knockoff movie that you've seen a bunch of stuff and it's just taking uh, ideas that you've seen in other properties and kind of mixing it in a blender and trying to ha produce a product which seems to me like it wants to be like a a pilot for a tv show or have kind of other films basically characters aren't interesting they come across as cliche stereotypes um overall this is not a good movie i'm sorry to say uh so i'll have to give this one a three out of ten nice try some ambitious stuff going on here but i would maybe um dial, dial it back a bit and maybe try and develop the characters a little bit and go with there three out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.